Welcome back to the grind for a quick crystal opening. Now I've been back and forth on whether or not I want to open this six star feature because it is much less six star pulls overall, but the number of game changing pulls or good pulls from this crystal are much higher than on average uh, from featured crystals. And if you add up, well, I kind of took a look at the champions I want from basic versus featured, and my odds, even with less pulls, of getting a good champion that I want are actually better from here. So taking a look, Kitty and Nimrod would be insane pulls, especially with Null would be another insane pull. I'd be okay with Anti-Venom, happy with Cersei, okay with Icarus, happy with uh, Hyperion, um, happy with Ghost Rider and Dr. Voodoo, Abomination, not so much. Cable I'd be happy with to awaken my rank three. Black Widow Clairvoyant I would be very, very happy about. Dr. Octopus would be another great pull. Dragon Man would awaken mine, which would be nice. Emma Frost would awaken mine, which would be nice. Hawkeye would be okay. Uh, Hit Monkey would awaken mine, which uh, which would also be nice. <laughs> Old Man Logan is a, the what the second one that I would be unhappy with. Punisher 2099 is already awakened, so I don't necessarily need sigs into him. So uh, that's three now that I wouldn't really be happy with. Squirrel Girl needs the sigs, but um, mine's already awakened, and I don't plan on ranking her anytime soon, even though she's pretty fun. But maybe down the road when I have more resources to spare. Taskmaster, meh. Awakening my Vision Age of Ultron would be nice. Um, even though I probably won't be using him either. Awakening my Wasp would be nice. And then Yellow Jacket is another eh. Not, not so worried about getting him. But um, I think I'm going to go for this anyways. I'm at a point where... I have, you know, a, a lot more influx of six-star shards typically. Um, from month to month, it varies a lot, of course. Uh, but I have a decent amount of six-stars and a fairly solid six-star roster now. So it's not so much about having the champions that are decent for ranking up, but more about having the right champions that I want to rank up. And I'm much more heavily focusing on my six-star roster lately. So now it feels like um, rather than just going for a sheer number of six stars, it is in my advantage sometimes to uh, go for a featured six star like this. And I might do a few pulls on this one while it is active. I do have a lot of uh, five star shards still from back when the gifting event was going on. And I haven't used them yet. I decided to go for a couple more of these featureds, but I do want to go mostly with the basics once these featured uh, pool gets put into the basic because uh, I want more ISO and I want more six star shards from Awakening Champions. So I'm going to do mostly that. But first, let's go with a two pop of this uh, five star featured, and then we'll spin out this six star featured crystal. And we have a couple more things to open. So those are probably the worst pulls from. <laughs> the that I could have gotten. I mean, um, Falcon's not bad, but I have a an awakened six star at rank three, so not the champion I was looking for. So that's too bad. But hey, ISO and six star shards. Now um, <clears throat> we have six of these side quest calves, and I don't typically have great luck with these, but let's see if these six can. Ooh, we got. <gasps> no way. I know this doesn't seem like much, but sorry, cats and dogs running around uh, playing. <laughs> this doesn't seem like much, but this is um, a first time pull of Sabretooth. And Sabretooth is basically the way to take on the Canadian Karina's Challenge. And I was considering doing it um, recently, but then I realized I don't even have Sabretooth. So now I have Sabretooth. I can rank him up and in the, in the future, I will be able to take on that challenge. So I'm actually really happy about that. And then two five stars from that set of six is actually uh, very solid for me. And some more ISO, some more six star shards. Very nice to have. So not bad from those six. So now we're going to take a quick peek, see if there's any other crystals to open. I believe there's, um, uh, I formed a cav crystal. Uh, nothing here. Scroll down here, I believe. There we go. We've got two, actually. Two Cav Crystals. We'll do a quick pops on those, and then we'll move on. And I... Oh, hey, another five-star. And first time pull of a four-star Doc Ock. Very fascinating. Uh, getting a nice smattering of ISO, uh, which is nice, and more six-star shards, which I'm very, very grateful for. And I don't believe there's anything else worth opening in this video. Uh, that we're going to open today. Look at that. I'm actually close to two basic six stars, but we have decided that we are going to um, just go for the featured and try our luck. There are some potentially very game-changing pulls here. 
um, could could change a lot for my plans for level up. I don't really have any champions that I'm dying to level up at this time, but there are several in here that would be an immediate decision to rank up. And Anti-Venom is... Um, <clears throat> I don't know if he's one that I'm going to rank up right away, but he is a nice one to have. Um, I'm happy that I pulled him. I still don't have uh, Spider-Man 2019-9, but having Anna Venom for the synergy, <clears throat> excuse me, when I do get Spider-Man 2099 will be nice. So um, I think science is one of the classes that I am the lowest on resources for. So it's unfortunate because it means I likely won't be able to put much into him in the near future. But hey, at least I got him. He's a new champ. He's a, one of the newer um, champions that were released. And he's a pretty solid champ overall. Lots of various utility. Um, okay damage when you get when you get him going. And then some synergies that'll be nice to have. So I hope your recent openings have been kind to you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.